So let's start a new drawing by clicking this drop down arrow by the AutoCAD icon. Select new. And I'm going to use Akadiso 3D template for metric units since I'm using millimeters. So select that and click open. Make sure to work on parallel projection by clicking this drop down arrow and select parallel. Now I'm going to open both the windows. So click view, tile vertically. I'm going to arrange this one. So move this one to the other side. So just click this window, tile vertically. I'm just going to adjust the size or the width of these two windows. And I'm going to start drawing from right view, which is this one here. So I'm just going to draw this portion first. So I just need half of this. So because uh, later I'm going to revolve it to complete the revolution. So I'm just going to bring this to right view. And start with line from this point here. So midway. So it's 25.6. So L for line. Click anywhere on the screen. And move your cursor upward but first before you proceed go down to the status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on polar tracking object snap tracking object snap and selection cycling and move your cursor upward for 25.6 enter all right Maybe turn on the ortho mode to be safe. We're, we're doing straight lines for now, so it's good. So L for line, click the endpoint, travel to the right for 32 units. Now I'm going to draw a line from this corner here only up to this corner because this is the tooth. Uh, I'm going to add that later. So L for line, endpoint upward for 10.4. And then move to the right for 48 units. Enter. Go downward for 11 units. And then to the right for 22 units. So the 11 units here is the radius. And the 22 is from this point to this point is uh, the diameter. I'm going to stop from there and start drawing from this point here up to the end here, which is 163. So line in point 163 to the right and go upward for 45 units, which is from this point up to this point line again in point travel to the left for five units. Go downward for 6 units, which is this one here. Another line from in point to the left for 46 units. Go downward for 1 unit. And then to the left again for 10 units. And just click that in point to close. Oops. All right, now I'm going to draw a circle. So inside the draw panel, click this drop down arrow and select a circle with tangent, tangent options. So and just click this side here. You can see the tangent symbol with a circle with a thingy on top. Click that and click this one and click this one. I'm going to trim, so TR for trim command, enter twice and remove that, remove this one and delete these two. Now I'm going to join the segments by typing J for join command and just window the whole thing. I'm going to check. No, I'm not lucky now. So I'm going to join again. So this one, join this one and this uh, segments. There you go. Now it's all joined. Now I'm going to evolve this object. You can do that by using inside the modeling panel, click the drop down arrow and you can use revolve command or you can type in REV for evolve command. Select the object you want to revolve. Right click to enter. 
and specify access start point you can start from this in point to this in point and you can either enter zero or 360 degrees to complete the revolution now now i'm going to draw this first feature which is as you can see here this is the projection if you cut this object from here so this is the this flower or this gear is from this point to this point when cut so what i'm gonna do is uh, draw a circle so press the shift key and the wheel of your mouse at the same time and locate the center here see that uh, circle if you hover on the side so shift right click hover on the side and you can locate the center but see the direction of the circle is not the way we want it to be so inside the coordinates panel click the z axis vector or z axis vector click anywhere on the screen and point it to this direction to place the x and y axis the z axis is the direction of the extrusion so c for circle right click center hover on the side and you can see that the uh, plus symbol and the circle symbol and snap that um, quadrant now i'm gonna hide this one for now so select the object right click anywhere on the screen hover over isolate and select hide objects because uh, it will be easier when that is out of the way i'm just gonna turn off the grid and bring this one to back view all right now i'm gonna create this tooth and i'm gonna draw a line first from center move your cursor upward for 79.8 now draw a line from in point to the left for six units and for this one the distance from this point here or from the midpoint to this point is 15 so what i'm gonna do is just offset so o for offset command enter and enter 15 units now select this object and select to the right now trim so tr for trim command enter twice click this one and click this one now i'm gonna use arc for this one from this point to this point and the angle or the radius for that is all right annotate radius so this is actually this one here is 65 i'm just gonna change the layer here dimension all right it's 65 Annotate radius. There. All right. So what I'm going to do is um, go to the ribbon. And inside the draw panel, click this drop down arrow and select um, arc with start and radius option. So click this start this in point, a starting point. Click this one as the in point and enter radius and enter 65. There you go. And trim. So TR for trim command, trim this one. And actually you can remove this one now all right now I'm gonna mirror this object so mirror this one and this one and specify point of mirror line so click this in point move downward you can snap this one or just go down as long as it's straight click and AutoCAD is asking you to erase source object do not erase so just enter or type in for no now i'm going to join the segment so j for join command select this arc this line here this line and this line i can delete this now now array this object 
So type in array and select array polar. Select this object, right click specify center point of array, hover on the side and see that plus sign. It means uh, you're clicking the center of the circle. Now you can go to the ribbon and change this one to num the number of object to eight, or you can right click, click number of items, enter to eight, enter, and right click again and select um, associative and select no and enter. Now this is individual in instead of these objects here being associative because it's hard to edit. So what I'm going to do is trim, so TR for trim command, enter twice, just click those. Then we're going to join the segments by typing J for join command. So J, we do the whole thing. And it's not all joined, so J again. Click this one, click this one, and this one. Let me click and everything uh, is joined. So what I'm gonna do now is bring this to, or bring the hidden object first. So just right click anywhere on the screen, hover over isolate and select an object isolation. I just wanna see where this direction is going. So now I could hide this one again, hide. All right, so what I'm gonna do is copy, make two copies of this one for this one and this one here. So the first feature is from this point to this point. Second feature, feature is F, so we cut this one, so which is this one here. The third one is the very end, so which is a D for this one here. So what I'm gonna do is copy, and the distance from this corner here to this corner is 45. So copy. Click anywhere on the screen and move this. Make sure your ortho mode is on. And move this for 45 units. Enter. Copy this one. Click anywhere on the screen as base point. Move along the Z axis and enter 95. Now I created layers so I won't get so it's easier to visualize. So what I'm gonna do is say created uh, different oh I didn't so I'm gonna create different layers now. Alright. So what I'm gonna do is change the color. So click that box and go to index color. I'm gonna use red. For this one, I'm gonna use blue. And this one, I'm going to use green and change this one to red, this one to blue. Oh, that one can stay. All right. Now I'm going to adjust or scale these two objects and as shown here, the first scale, which is this one is okay. So that's the full scale. And this one, I'm going to scale it for, because we cut it, and when we loft the object, it goes um, smaller to the end. So this one, the scale from the first feature is 0.75, and the last scale is 0.5. So I'm going to scale, so SC for scale command, scale this object, and specify base point, so shift right click, and select center. So hover on that side there. So you see that circle, so that's the center. Enter. Oh, wait, again. Scale. Select this object. Specify base point. Center. So just hover on that side there, snap that. And specify the sc scale factor, enter 0.75. Enter. Now scale the blue one, so scale. Select this object, right click, specify base point, hover on this side here, or shift right click, select center, hover, 
snap and for the scale factor enter 0.5 Now, I'm going to use loft command. So inside the modeling panel, click this drop down arrow and select loft and select the objects. Click this one, this one, and this one. Enter. Oh, not yet. And do. All right. So bring this to back view and rotate this one first, the second one. And the angle is uh, 15 degrees. So Inside the modify panel, select rotate command or you can type in RO to so select this object. Right click specify base point, hover on the side, shift right click and select center. Just see this side here and snap that. So we're snapping on the side and enter for the rotation angle, enter 15 units there. Now for this one, I'm going to rotate this one for 30 degrees. And since it's going to that direction, I'm going to use minus 30 degrees. So RO for rotate or go to the ribbon, this one here. Select this object, right click and specify base point, shift right click and snap the center. And enter, uh, go down to the command window, enter minus 30. there you go now i'm going to use loft command click this object this object and this object here enter and enter again now i'm going to bring back my hidden objects so just right click anywhere on the screen hover over isolate and select an object isolation um now i'm going to draw the tooth here and rotate it for or array it for this one here array this one for 13 items so i'm gonna hide this one again hide oops hide all right and i need a circle here so what i'm gonna do is draw a circle so see for circle and locate the center there snap the quadrant and what I'm going to do is hide this one too. And bring this drawing to front view or back view. And I'm going to draw a line as a guide. From center, move your cursor upward for 41 units. Which is this one here. From center here up to this point is 41. And I'm going to draw a line from this point to the side for five units and bring it downward now trim tr for trim command enter twice just remove that and remove this one now i'm gonna mirror so mi for mirror command select the object you want to mirror right click specify point of mirror line this one and go downward up oh, again Mirror, so in I for mirror command, select these two objects here and specify first point of mirror line. Click that in point, go downward, and enter. I don't need that anymore. Now join the segment, so type J for join command. Select this one, this line, this line, and this line. Now this is one object. Now I'm going to array this object or maybe extrude. No, I, what I could do is just trim. So TR for trim command, trim this one. And then, then join the segment. So type J for join command. Just window the whole thing. Now this is one object. Now I'm going to bring back my hidden object. So right click, hover over isolate and select an object isolation. Now press the shift key and the wheel of your mouse to manipulate the direction of your drawing or the view. And select this one and inside the modeling panel drop click the drop down arrow and select extrude and snap the quadrant here or perpendicular point so just shift right click and select quadrant there you go now I'm gonna array this object here so 
I'm gonna isolate this one. So to hide the other one. So I'm gonna bring this to back view. No. Front view. There you go. And change this to X-ray maybe. Now I'm gonna array this object here. So type in A R R A Y and select array polar. Select the object you wanna array. Specify center point of array. Snap that center. Right click and for the number of items, select uh, 13 or type in 13 rather. And right click again, select um, click associative and select no and enter. Now I'm gonna bring back my hidden object so hover over isolate and select in object isolation. I'm gonna change this back to realistic and you knew the whole thing. So inside the... So go to home. And inside the solid editing panel, select solid union command. And just window the whole thing. Now this is one object. Now I'm going to poke a hole through the center. And the diameter for that is... Okay, annotate, dimension, diameter... For this one here is 35 there you go all right so what I'm gonna do is make sure your Z axis Victor is pointing that way because I'm gonna show you if not so see for circle see the direction of the circle because this one is parallel to the X and Y plane so what I'm gonna do is click the Z axis vector click anywhere on the screen and just point it to that direction as long as your ortho mode or, or polar tracking is on just follow the green dash line and point it there now, this is the X and Y vector, which is parallel to the face here. All right, so I could delete this one and draw a circle. So see for a circle, right click to enter, snap the center. Type D for the meter option and enter 35. Now, I'm going to poke a hole through the object. So inside the modeling panel, select press pull command, hover over on the on that uh, circle. Once it turns blue, left click, release your finger, move to that direction, and left click again. I'm just gonna move this one so I could erase the unwanted objects here. And I think we are done. So what I'm going to do is, um, you can change the color here. So the layer one, I'm going to change that to greenish object or this one here. There you go. And I think we're done. And thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial. See you again.